Hi, and welcome back to this episode. There has been a lot of T2 series models of thermal cameras during the years, and each of them were better than the other. Just to name one, the last one, the T2 Pro from Thermal Master, that is mainly made for outdoor use, searching animals in the night, and it is a very good unit, and it is still a very good unit. But let's face it, technology needs to advance. So today I'm presenting you the Thermal Master T2 Max, which is better than the T2 Pro in every single way. Of course, when it comes to outdoor use, and it's highly, highly recommended to people who want to use it in outdoors. So let's see what's inside the box, finally. So let's see what's inside this box. On the side we can see some feature specifications. When we open the box, the first thing we can see is this stylish new case that they include in the package. They even paid attention for small details like this eye logo, this Thermal Master logo on the zipper handle. It's very nice. And here we have the first glimpse of the content of the case. Now let's start with the accessories and small components, like this big, thick and heavy user's guide, which is written in many languages, so it's very well prepared for the international market. In here you can definitely find everything to start using correctly your device. Then we have here the usual greetings card from Thermal Master. Let's see if we have here all the tools you can possibly need to assemble and disassemble anything in this kit. A Phillips screwdriver and an Allen key, that's all. Then we have here this nice and strong case, well packaged uh, for the P2 Max. The case is very practical, very well built, strong material. It's like usual the cases of this type of uh, cameras sold by Thermal Master. It's very nice. It has space inside for the camera itself, a cable and an adapter might be if you need. And this carabiner is also a very nice addition to it. And what else we have here? A full set of screws and silicone covers and even the Picatinny feet. If you have everything you can possibly lose here, there is a spare part of it. That's a very nice touch. And you also get a lens cover here. This is the lens cover that you are using when the T2 Max is not installed in the holder itself. So now let's see the holder pre-installed with the T2 Max. Oh wait, we have here a extension cable, a Type-C male to female adapter. And now back to the charger holder handle with the T2 Max uh, pre-installed in it. This is the same exact multifunctional holder handle that comes with the XT for example. The same built-in laser, the removable battery that ca can charge your phone and run the camera as well in the same time, and the removable Picatinny head as well, of course. The lens on this bad boy is 15mm. Just to put it into perspective, the T2 Pro has 13mm lens. As you can see, the holder handle has its own built-in lens protective cup. The phone holder part is built into the Picatinny head, and it can be opened to accommodate even the widest phone on the market. It's a perfect fit for the smart screen, which is also called the Titan Pad, that can be purchased separately or together in a kit. On the side and on the top we can see Picatinny type utility rail, that's where you can install things like flashlight or the laser rangefinder that I was showing in a previous video, or the new laser rangefinder that I will show in a future video, the Pro version, with much more advanced design and features. The major difference is that the older version is much more smaller, the newer version is slightly bigger, but that's a compromise had to be made in order to add the battery slot, because the older version had no built-in battery, so it had to be plugged in constantly in order to use the Bluetooth functionality of it. I have fully introduced the older version of the laser rangefinder in the X3 video, I will leave the link down in the description so you can check it out, and the new laser rangefinder I will show in a separate video. The holder, just like the other, uses one single 21700 type of lithium battery, the chargeable of course. So that was all the content of the box. The laser works by pressing the button on the grip, and then you just point it to whatever you want to see, it's basically just to highlight to see where you are aiming at, or alternatively you can just use it to play with cats. Connecting the cables is absolutely simple, all you have to do is take this Type-C in the middle and plug it in the Type-C female on the side of the holder, and the remaining Type-C plug is going to the phone or the Titan pad, whichever you decide to use. As I mentioned already, the battery in the holder can charge the phone simultaneously when time using it, so it's a very good function. Now let's disassemble the holder with the included tools and let's see how the camera looks like. As you can see, each individual screw have a gasket for additional waterproofing, that's very nice. We have to remove the cable connector first, in order to liberate the camera. That was easy enough. And here we have the camera in its full glory. 
Let's remove this front cover. This gasket also to provide some extra waterproofing. And here we have the camera. Absolutely nice. Looking well built. It has a metallic housing. It's kind of big, bigger than I expected. But it's definitely a nice construction. A nice Thermal Master logo at the back. I think it also has a power indicator light built in. Just to have a perspective of its size, this is the old T2 Pro. Thing you need to keep in mind that the T2 Pro is not going to work with the same software as the X3, X2 and the new T2 Max. They use a different software. So obviously the T2 Pro is not working with the Titan Pad neither. The T2 Max also have a much larger lens at 15mm, unlike the T2 Pro with its 30mm lens. In case of the T2 Max, in theory, because of its more narrow field of view, it will have a slightly clearer image. There is a very noticeable size difference between the two. And the T2 Max is surprisingly very well built, it's uh, made of metal, like an aluminium housing. The focusing ring have a very comfortable resistance, just as it should be. The lens is not removable. There is a tiny screw in the inside of the lens that's blocking the, the lens to be able to remove. So don't even try to force it, otherwise you will break it. The T2 Max have a very very similar design to the X3, but even slightly bigger than the X3 itself. And now let's see the specifications with a small comparison with the T2 Pro together. Let's start with the resolution 256 by 192 each, both of them. But the software of the T2 Max can do some upscaling as well. Next is sensitivity. In case of the T2 Max is 20 mK. In case of the T2 Pro was 50 mK. Lower is the better. So the T2 Max has like 120% more sensitivity than the T2 Pro. That's insane. T2 Max frame rate is 50 Hz. T2 Pro frame rate is 25 Hz. The T2 Pro have a two times more refresh rate compared to the T2 Pro. Power consumption is also lower in case of the T2 Max, just around 280 milliwatts compared to 350 milliwatts in the T2 Pro. Operation and storage temperature is also slightly wider in case of the T2 Max. In case of the T2 Max, you have a 15 mm lens that will result on 11.7 degree field of view. In case of the T2 Pro, we have a 13 mm lens that will result at 13.6 degree field of view. More narrow field of view will give you slightly better image quality because it focuses on a much smaller area, that's why it's more suitable for outdoor use. But we will see if the T2 Max can do some work inside as well. That was all of the most important specifications, now let's see the camera connected to a device. And now let's see the T2 Max, how does it look like with the Titan Pad? There we have the logo illuminates when the power is on. And we have an image. I need to put the focus in order. Nice, there we have it. Looks very nice. Looking perfectly nice with the Titan Pad. Now let's see how it looks like with the phone. Using the app downloaded from the Thermal Master website. Boots up very fast. All you have to do is just connect the camera. It recognizes the camera immediately. And we have an image. The features of the software I have explained in a previous video before, so I'm going to keep it relatively short. What's important to know, that it's supporting the X3 algorithm, which is an upscaling algorithm that can be turned on and off, which makes the image look sharper in certain situations. Now let's see a quick testing in the usual situations that I always use, like short circuit, outdoor, some indoor. This is mainly made for outdoor, but let's see how it performs indoor as well. If you would wonder if it can do short circuit detection, here is a PC motherboard with some random short circuits on it, on some very tiny chips. And as you can see this unit despite 256 by 192 it can show beautiful image about the circuit board surface. And as soon as power is injected to the shorted component it immediately lights up like a light bulb. So yeah, if your hobby is outdoor activities and your second hobby is repairing short circuits, then this will definitely work for both activities. This broken SMD component is only 5mm. And you can see it gigantic in the screen, so it's not bad. If you're a plumber and trying to find out which one is the hot and the cold water pipe, you're trying to visualize it, you can do it, but you need to be in a larger distance away from the subject, which makes it absolutely not ideal in closed and small spaces. For that you would need a much wider field of view. If you are looking down to a parking lot, even in a greater distance like 100 meter, 150 meter, we can see a lot of details. It's also mainly thanks to the 20mK sensitivity. 
and of course the very narrow field of view. Here when you see people walking and you can see the vegetation, you can also see the high contrast, high thermal contrast, which is also thanks to the 20 mK sensitivity. That's huge, especially for an uncooled sensor. Like here, for example, you can see the traffic very clearly and this point is 350 meter away. Even with a high zoom level, it remains very nicely readable and it's very far away. For a 256 by 192 sensor, this is incredible. Here's a few more clips in different environments downstairs. I will let you enjoy this without any further commentary. Any question, you can let me know in the comment section or just send me a message on my Discord. That's all for now, in a later video I will put up a longer version of the recordings. In case you were wondering how to remove the Picatinny head, let me show you. First you have to remove the silicone protectors from the screws. This will expose the screws and now you have an easy access to it. Then you have to take the allen key that was included in the box and turn the screws until they are loose enough to take down the head. Once the screws are loosened, you can detach the head very easy. And the same way you can install it on any other Picatinny rail or tripod as well. Very simple. This is an outstanding and low-cost kit of the T2 Max. The multifunctional holder with battery, laser pointer and the Picatinny montable head gives you unprecedented flexibility on how you will use it. And it's included in every option. The Titan pad and laser rangefinder are two incredible cool and useful accessories that can be purchased together or separately as well. And this new laser rangefinder also the upgraded pro version with the replaceable battery and other cool features. The Titan pad is also super recommended because it's lightweight and cheap enough to be used as dedicated display for your T2 Max, X2 or X3 and it's more resistant than your phone can ever be. And for last, the T2 Max itself is a super capable and low-cost thermal camera for your outdoor adventures and even some things inside the house can be done with it. Even to repair shorted phone or computer main boards. And if you already own the T2 Pro, then a T2 Max can be a worthy upgrade over that as well. And the best part is, I can provide you a super super discount in every combination you can imagine. Not only on the T2 Max, but every other model I review in this channel. Since I set up the discount manually for you, all you have to do is come to my Discord channel, link in the description, and send me a private message about this, and I will arrange you the discount on it. I can give you option on the T2 Max Plus Holder, T2 Max Plus Holder Plus Laser, T2 Max Plus Holder Plus Titan Pad, and a full kit as well. And not for last, my Discord channel is a safe and helpful community where you can find a lot of information about the latest and oldest models. Or if you need help with anything, you can ask the community and someone will definitely answer you. I hope you liked this video and it gave you plenty of information about this model. If you did like it, a subscribe would be magnificent and hope to see you in the next one.